going on in there? Now you see what you've done? You've woke up daddy. That's not... That's not fair. You blame me on everything just because you're a beggar. Oh, uh, alright, you can come, but try to keep up with me. I haven't got all day, you know. Last one out is rotten egg. Why you little? It's a gift to treasure when good friends get together. A smile or two I'll share means so much more. Good morning, Atmas. Good morning, Paul. I see you have some company. M morning, Atmas. Good morning. So you're helping again this morning, hmm? Paul, you should be thankful for having such a loving sister. As I see it, Paul, you have a friend that you don't want to share with your sister. And Leslie, you're not showing much consideration for your brother's feeling either. So. Listen to what I've just said to you. Anyway, I've got work to do. So, have you. These papers wouldn't deliver themselves, you know. So, run along now. Bye. Bye. Bye, Atlas. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Now what's the matter? I've been retrenched. What? But you just got promoted six months ago. At the promotion party, your boss remarked how smart you were and how glad he was to have you on their team. Mm. Uh, how could they let you go? That's very simple. Business is bad. I am, um, I was the most junior member of the team. But how can we keep something like this from them? I mean, we're just getting by as it is. With all our financial commitments, they're going to have to make sacrifices. Well, I'll just explain to them that these are hard times. In any case, this situation won't last very long. There must be some company out there that needs an experienced marketing analyst. Nobody needs 
you shaking from here at all? Huh? Look at the time. Drive must be waiting on me so long. Come on, what happened to you? But Paul, what about the puppies? I'll take you to see them another time. Right now, Jared is waiting. Jared is waiting, Jared is waiting. Big deal. Go inside. You matter what. So how is he supposed to know we're out there? Does he have extra sensory reception? That's extra sensory perception, dummy. And don't be silly. I'm meeting him round the back in our secret place. Come on, let's go. It's my turn to be a Rambo. You can't be Rambo, you're a girl. It's not fair. I've been dying all over the place for you and Paul. Now it's my turn to do the shooting. Let me let it go, you'll break it. No, it's not fair. I didn't get a turn. See, it's almost time for breakfast. We have to leave now. It's, I'll never play with you again, Jared McLean. Is that a promise? You same time, same place. Sure, but what about her? Somehow, I don't think she'd want to come, if you know what I mean. Yes, Daddy. Anything wrong? No, just a little accident. No problems. Leslie, what did I tell you about that street thing? Sorry, Mommy. It's just that I get so vexed at Paul. Everything is jarring this, jarring that. She had told you she's jealous. Why should I be jealous of a pushy, bossy, selfish, Leslie, there's bracket? no way to be speaking about anyone. I keep telling her that. Too. That's enough, Paul. Now can we settle down to a normal, peaceful breakfast? I bet Mr. McLean doesn't get on like that with you at work, does he, Dad? Well, does he? You don't worry about my relationship with Mr. McLean. We get along just fine. It's just that he looks so funny. <laughs> this is stupid. My dad was right. By the way, did your dad get a new job yet? New job? What are you talking about? The other day, I saw your father's file at home and that it had retrenched written all over it. That's impossible. My dad has been going to work every day. Not that McLean and Barrett, he hasn't. There must be caught some mistake. I'm going home right now to clear it up. But you just got here. Let's go to my room and I'll show you some more tricks for my computer. Jared, this is more important. Okay. See you. Bye. Paul! I thought you knew. Christmas show will be different. I wonder how our family and friends will react when we tell them we're not having our usual Christmas Eve for our party. Well, they'll just have to accept it. Because there's no way we can afford it this year. I know it's totally out of the question. But I wish there was some way we could have afforded to send for another. The children are so looking forward to seeing her for Christmas. And it would have been a good break for her too, from all the treatment. She was so disappointed when it's over. Well, I understand her disappointment, but I know she understands that cashing in a ticket is the only alternative under the circumstances. <laughs> but what about Paul and Leslie? We're gonna have to tell them and they're bound to suspect something. No, they won't. Not if we handle it. 
Well, no. You can help your parents by making that $20 do for all of your needs and Leslie's. You will just have to follow a strict budget like your parents and not put any extra financial strain on them by asking for things that aren't really necessary. You heard Agnes? It will do and don't go asking daddy about his job and granny. We're not supposed to know. Okay. In the meantime, let's see some smiles on those faces. After all, it's Christmas. And who knows, anything can happen if you believe in the magic of Christmas. <laughs> in the meantime, the claws at us. We too old for that. We passed that stage already. Anyway, children, I want you to remember something and carry it with you for the rest of your life. You're never too old to believe in the magic of Christmas. Shh. I have an idea for getting some money to get Granny home for Christmas. Remember Agnes said that we can help Mommy and Daddy by giving up some of the things we would like to have? Yeah. Well, we could sell our Christmas presents. You know that place they advertise on TV? Dollar Rescue? Well, we could take them there. But Paul, I've waited a whole year for those pong puppies. Who would you rather have for Christmas? Granny or some old stupid pong puppies? Granny, of course, but okay. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. What did you just? How are you? You're in a good mood today. That I am. That I am. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Let nothing you this say. Remember yeah, Christ our Savior, born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's partner, we have gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute. Where's, where's Paul? I don't know. He was just on the phone. I'll go get him. Okay. What's the big surprise? He got a job. You betcha I did. I got a job. <laughs> Come on. Be serious. Where? Ah. You are now looking at the new managing director of the Tate Group of Companies. Oh. Huh. It was all quite weird, actually. Here I was waiting on a red light in the corner of French Street and Arapia Avenue. And up comes this... You know that strange character the children are always talking about? You mean that nurse? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Marge, I don't think it's such a good idea to have the children spend so much time with him. He doesn't seem to be too... um well up there, if you know what I mean. He's know. a little strange, yes, but he's harmless. Since the house isn't broken into, then I think this is what Kojak would call an inside job. You mean the children? But they would never do something like this. I mean, I know they always look for their gifts and sometimes even find them, but they would never interfere with them before Christmas. I think this has something to do with it. How? I think. Did you let it slip at all that um, I was out of the job? No. They must have found out somehow. And I have a pretty good idea that the disappearance of the gifts had something to do with the appearance of this money. And if I'm right, you know, Marge, I think we have some wonderful kids here. We'll have to make it up to them. Good morning. Good morning, my big son. You're back earlier than usual. I didn't bother to go by Jared because of the rain, and I wanted to make an early start in my chores. Oh my gosh. I knew things were bad, but I didn't think they were this bad. What is it? McLean and Bart, they didn't receive a ship. What? You didn't see it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mad, you expecting anyone? No. No, that. I was wondering when they would get here. But I don't understand. You can't sleep around for even when there was a fight. I'm not complaining. Are you?
sorry, I've got to decline. I, if you've got so much work to do. But nobody works on Christmas Eve. Wait, look at that. What? Let me see, let me see. Atnes's name spelled backwards is S-A-N-T-A, Santa. 